Hi Libra, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These messages are general messages. So they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up. I'm going to look at you and your person and see how they feel about you. What their next move is going to be and so on. So let's see. What's this person's energy when it comes to Libra? What's their energy towards Libra? Oh my goodness. Cards falling on the floor. Too many cards for these two. Okay. King of Cups and the two. The two. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? King of Cups and the Seven of mm. Pentacles. Sorry, my neighbors are loud. We got the Tower card here, which did fall on the floor just now. So we'll look at the card underneath as well. We've got the Nine of Swords. So this person seems, it's like they have feelings for you, they're in love, but they seem to be, they seem to feel like they're waiting. And the waiting is bringing a lot of anxiety. I feel like it might cause them to like, just go for it, like kind of explode, kind of like the tower, where they just kind of snap and, and decide, you know what, I'm gonna say something, or I'm gonna do something, do the right thing, you know? So let me see. What's Libra's energy? Is it tower again? Let's see. What's Libra's Ten of Wands Ten of Wands carrying a burden? What's Libra's energy when it comes to this person? What's Libra's energy when it comes to this person? Needing to make a decision here. Eight of Swords. And the two of pentacles so some of you we got the ace of cups as well some of you are feeling stuck here feeling stuck and needing to make a decision i do see that a lot of you want a new beginning but there's something that you have going on why the two of pentacles oh my goodness could be a a, a leo or a fellow libra I see that some of you want things to just be balanced and fair. And you want, some of you want this to be a soulmate, but you, there's others of you who just generally, generally, generally want a soulmate, whether it's this person or not. And I just see you really feeling stuck when it comes to trying to figure out what you ultimately want to do when it comes to this connection. What's the recent past energy for Libra? So this person could have left you out in the cold and you felt like you were unable to move on in the recent past when they left you out in the cold. So some of you, this person, it could be that they've come towards you or you feel like they're coming towards you and you had a hard time getting over them in the past when they left you out in the cold and now you're having to decide if you're going to take them back or not, if you're going to risk that or not. Some of you, if there was a third party, there seems to be an ending to that other person, like the other person's not in the picture anymore, if there was. What's the energy of this connection for Libra? Energy of this connection. Okay. So we've got the Emperor. And the chariot could be a Pisces. Sorry, could be a Pisces. Could be an Aries or a Cancer. I see you both gaining control of the situation and moving forward. Um, moving forward with both the good and bad. Okay, both might be, or you might be guarded when it comes to moving forward with them, but. There, there will be a sense of you having control of the situation. There will be communication. I see a, a conversation happening that will be quite deep and helpful for you. Give me some insight for Libra. Some insight for Libra and their connection.
Okay, we have Dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things come into light, adapt, change, and heal. So there's gonna be some, I guess, a towel moment you could say, but it's telling you to not take it so seriously. We have wedding rings, union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. We have mirror, mirroring each other, self image. Relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. So mirroring each other. I don't see how yet, but we'll see. Because this person seems to feel like they've been waiting. We have healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. So that connects with the two of pentacles that you have. You're trying to make a really good choice for yourself. And seeing as this person may have left you out in the cold in the past, you feel like how could this be a good choice if it's caused you pain. But let's see. Let's see what goes on with this read. Show me the person that Libra is dealing with person Libra is dealing with how do they feel about Libra magician what's their next move going to be what's their next move going to be when it comes to Libra Sagittarius for some of you or any other fire sign we have Leo as well now okay they are seeing you as someone who could bring them who is or has bring brought them a lot of stability made them feel stable and grounded here We have the Six of Swords. This person is wanting, they definitely are wanting to move from a rough patch with you to a more calm and stable place where you guys can get along. So they're feeling a lot of passion towards you. They have the King of Wands. And we have temperance is how they see the relationship so this person feels like eventually you guys are going to reconnect they feel like they're just waiting and being patient waiting for divine timing to say when when you guys should reconnect we have the sun as the in the position of their fears and also the page of pentacles as what they want what they're wishing for so they do wish to communicate however they don't wish to get their hopes up too high um because they don't know what to expect when it comes to you so five of cups is in the center they are kind of crying over spilt milk feeling like they've lost you we've got the four of cups as what's blocking so some of you may have rejected their offer or they feel like you will reject their offer that's an issue for them they have a fear of rejection it seems the next move is the two of pen two of wands or two of pentacles Two of Wands, so they do they do seem to be contemplating reaching out. The world in this person's hand does symbolize, you know, our modern phones and how we can re how we can connect with anyone around the world. So they are con contemplating reaching out. This seems to be their next move. Position of what you need to know is the nine of cups. Some of you I do feel like this person has made the necessary changes because this is looking like it's your wish fulfillment. The outcome is the tower. So this person might pop up out of nowhere with this. Or it could be that some of you are planning to reach out to them and it surprises them. But there seems to be a real, like some something that happens that changes everything here. Let me look at your side of things. Show me Libra in this connection. 
How does Libra feel about this person? What's their next move? I mean, outcome for Libra. feeling like you've lost something here so it does look like you guys are kind of mirroring each other because you do both share the five of cups that feeling of loss i got the high priestess sorry i just had a hiccup <laughs> i got the high priestess and this person um sorry not this person you you have this high priestess as your overall energy some of you are kind of focusing on your spirituality might have been meditating um there's there seems to be an increase in your intuition so really connecting with your intuition or higher self but you share the five of cups you do feel like you've lost in this relationship missing um this person and they are missing you also we have the queen of pentacles and six of pentacles you some of you may have felt like this person had a third party or they were giving other other people attention um tending to other things it doesn't have to be a third party it could be that they worked too hard they didn't make time for you but we have the queen of pentacles is how you see the relationship so seeing it as quite nurturing and stable when it was going on um this could be why some of you do um feel open to reconnecting we have the fool as your fears though so i do see earlier when you had the two of pentacles you kind of been hesitant to take a leap because you may have gotten hurt you really don't want to take a leap you really don't want to take a risk <laughs> your wishes are the eight of cups so you do wish to be more emotionally distant you're kind of gone on your own little journey focusing on you and keeping your emotions out of things or keeping them protected we have the nine of, nine of pentacles some of you some of you might be feeling single at the moment focusing on you as i said kind of flying solo at the moment the king of swords is blocking so the fact that you have gone into this mode where you are guarding your hearts focusing on you taking yourself out of the situation is kind of why this person is scared to come forward because they do feel like they would get rejected by you you got the ten of cups judgment the hanged man it does seem like some of you are planning to open up emotionally very soon it's just that right now you just feel like dealing with things solo we have judgment and the hanged man you will be seeing things differently very soon you will start to see things differently like this relationship i feel like there's going to be a change in the way you are viewing things and in the position of what you know need to know is judgment so needing to know that there this is fate because judgment is all about fate and the angels and their plans and you know the universe and what it's planning and the fact that we kind of don't know what's good for us yet but they do so it's like everything is happening in divine timing it does connect with the temperance up here any love message love messages for libra love messages okay express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture it could shock this person if you do express your love I'm not encouraging you to do so but it could be a tower moment for them we have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together let go of control issues allow the situation my goodness the way your cards have been coming out is just they're coming out in chunks allow the situation to unfold naturally past life relationship you've known each other before let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so allowing it to unfold naturally and expressing of love i do see that someone one of you is going to express the love and the other one's going to be quite happy about it we have peaceful resolution 
trust. Not the right time, you see. Be assertive and opportunity. So needing to trust the universe is not the right time. Continue with your, your self-love journey, I feel that's a good idea. And when it's time, it, you'll know. But this person, they will be contemplating coming towards you. They will think they are going to be thinking about reaching out. That's their next move. It's just that they think that you're going to reject them, like just by default. Okay. But eventually, somehow, this is going to change because we have wedding rings and dragonfly here. Talking about the union and eternal love. So, somehow, somewhere down the line, there is a shift that happens and this tower does show that so either you end up reaching out to them or they reach out to you something's gonna happen here okay that changes things so libra could be a sagittarius a leo those are the two main signs <laughs> we got taurus and scorpio energy we got the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth signs. That's about it. So, Libra, this is what I'm seeing for you. Check your other placements. If you want to know what else to expect, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the King of Swords. Leave a like if this was helpful for you. I hope this was helpful. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.